What's good, y'all? Welcome back to Rolling with Bam Man. This is part three of the Mammoth Road Trip and day one of the ski season, at least for me, that is. And what a better way to start it off. We got some snow overnight, y'all. Check this out. Look at that, winter wonderland. Definitely exciting. We got some fresh snow. Hopefully we got even more up at the mountain. It does make me a little bit worried though. The roads are all covered in snow. I don't have four wheel drive or chains. So the roads are definitely gonna be slippery and I'm probably gonna be slipping around all over the place. So I'm really hoping that the roads aren't gonna be too bad, but I guess we're just gonna have to find out. I also don't have anything to scrape the ice off my windshield. Definitely did not come prepared for snow, but snow was not on the forecast, so I didn't prepare for it. But hey, no complaints. That just means the skiing is going to be even better. All right, y'all, I'm going to figure out the road situation, and then let's get up on the mountain. All right, y'all, let's roll. Look at that. Fresh snow. Hopefully the roads aren't too slick. Let's get out of here and get up to the lodge, find some parking up there. All right, y'all, I still need to try to get the icon open. Let's go. Got a whole bunch of stickers. A map. All the icon pass resorts. Throw it in the pass pocket. These are Mando for your, a ski jacket, in my opinion. Throw a couple white claws. The car's a bit of a mess. I'm gonna just do this for breakfast you to get up there. We'll loosen these from now until I get on my first run, yo. So I'm skiing some line visions. It's the first time y'all are seeing my skis. Love these fucking things. This is my third season skiing on them. Nah, fourth. Fourth season. Same with these boots. Got them at the same time. Love them though. Alright, pass helmet goggles. And y'all, I forgot a mask, but we're just gonna have to deal with that. And it's supposed to be windy today too, which is gonna suck. Alright. Let's hit the mountain, y'all. Give one last sip of water before we head out. And we're off. Woo! I'm so excited, y'all. Guys, I'm so hyped for this. Let's go. Go to my secret spot over here. And Canyon Express, which is the main lift out of Canyon Lodge, just got a big update. You guys will see.
There's the new lift I'm talking about. You ever been to Mammoth, you know how new this is and how exciting this is. How you doing? doing great. I love the mustache. It is every day. Have a good one, boss. Yeah, you too, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, fancy. The new lift. It is, huh? Love it. Have a good one. I think it's pretty windy. I'm gonna guess it's bad. Yeah. I totally forgot to pack a mask too, so hopefully nothing nothing crazy. Just tuck my face in my jacket. You're gonna be so chapped. Yep. Oh well though. right now but it looks like they just closed the lift everybody just did the line they threw up the lift closed so. there's still people on there though so that must that's gotta suck to be up there while the lift ain't running lunch slash breakfast because i ain't eat yet other than that bar all right joe Decided to grab some lunch at the lodge. There's a lot of lifts on Windhold right now, so not much is open. You guys saw Broadway just close while I was in line. Hopefully after I eat this pizza, some more stuff will open, but we'll see. All right, y'all, made it back on the mountain. It's like blizzard conditions out here, if y'all can't see. Gonna take a few more runs, then probably call it a day. Everything's closed anyway. A few lifts that are open have long ass lines. But yeah, let's enjoy my lunch.
nonetheless. Let's keep going, y'all. thin cover out here too. You still see the tops of the little plants. Crazy that it's almost Christmas. There's only this much snow here. Compared to last winter. Ooh. Oh yeah. Compared to last winter there was a record. By this time there was snow everywhere. About backwards, the backwards skiing, huh? Don't know about that. Woo! That's cold, yo. With no mass, that is cold. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna call it a day. Only got four runs in, but with these conditions, it's not even worth it. And the lifts to get back to Canyon Lodge are closed, so probably just gonna have to take the shuttle bus back. But that's all right. It's a good first day, first couple runs of the season. Always nice to get in. Too bad everything's closed and it's all windy and blizzardy. No, I'm gonna take one more run actually. And if it clears up, I'll pull the camera back out. But if not, I'm going to head back after this last run. All right, I'll catch you guys back at the car. If not, peace, y'all. All right, y'all, we made it back to the car. Thankfully, I checked the Mammoth app right before I was about to hop on the shuttle to get shuttled back here to Canyon Lodge. And I saw that the lift connecting the two lodges just opened. So I was able to hit that, and I was able to ski back rather than having to take the bus back, which saved a lot of time. It's a lot more fun, a lot easier. Definitely a lot colder though. Surprisingly pretty clear down here at Canyon Lodge. You can see the sun behind me trying to come out. There's some blue skies back there. So I considered taking a few more runs just cause it's a lot less snowy, a lot less cold down here. But the one run that I did take, the conditions were ass. The snow is a lot icier, a lot more rough. Canyon Lodge is a lot lower in elevation than Main Lodge where I was skiing at. So it wasn't really snowing down here. It was more wet, rainy kind of snow. So I decided to just call it a day. But nonetheless, it was a great first day of the season. Super happy to be back out there. Get the legs warmed up. Hopefully we get some big storms rolling in soon. Right now I'm just working on getting the car packed up, doing a little bit of organizing because it's a mess in here too. Once I get the car packed up, ready to go, probably gonna chill for a sec, take a toke. And then we're gonna hit the road and head back home to Huntington Beach. But we gotta make a stop in Bishop on the way and I'll show you guys why. All right, let's roll on out of here. You've been good to us, mammoth. Man, I really just love it out here so much. All right, let's roll into Bishop. All right, y'all, we're officially out of Mammoth. I just hopped on the 395. We're heading back towards Huntington Beach. And it's still raining. I really just struck out with weather for this trip. But it's okay, shit happens. I mean, when I planned the trip, there was nothing on the radar. So it was supposed to be clear. But it's all good. It was kind of a challenge. Now we know we can do it. I mean, granted, it wasn't too much snow. But still, and we still had a good ass time. Got several good ass runs on the mountain today. Snow was, eh, it was kind of sticky, very wet snow. I think it just still isn't cold enough to get that snow that we want, which is weird considering it's middle of December already. But yeah, still a good ass time nonetheless. Now I was gonna consider hitting the hot spring on my way back, 
but it's pouring rain out so that would not be enjoyable plus the roads to get there might be muddy and I don't got no four-wheel drive so I don't want to get stuck in the mud on my way out also a problem one of my headlights is out of course pain in the ass so I'm gonna stop in Bishop and pick up a new headlight change it out hopefully it's not raining down there because that would suck to have to do that shit in the rain and Grady Baby also wants me to pick him up some sourdough bread from some bakery that he always went to when he was a kid, I guess. And I, I'm always down for bread. I love bread. So I'm going to pick up a couple loaves there. So I'll catch you guys in Bishop. Hopefully it's not raining down in those smaller towns that we passed by on the way up here. Because I'd like to stop at some spots and show you guys around. There's some pretty cool stuff. But we'll just have to wait and see. All right, y'all. There's a little lookout point off the... 395 main highway wanted to check out look how beautiful that is wow look at that and look at these god that literally looks like fucking Valhalla bro Jeez. this is amazing let's see what is this Deer migration territory, interesting. Huh. Look how beautiful this is, my God. We get a thumbnail. Wow. It's kind of cool how the clouds are like rolling in over these mountains be cool to see the tops of the mountains but it's kind of cool how it is wow i wonder if any human has ever been at the top of these mountains i mean it's not that far but you think about it it's a tough tough hike to get up there i'm sure it's almost there. sculpted by ice All right, let's get back on the road. It's cold. Damn. I could literally sit here for hours and stare at this. So beautiful. I really like to live out here in Mammoth one day. It's always been a dream of mine ever since I was a kid. And I made it my goal to live up here for at least one ski season before I turned 30 years old. I'm 23 now, so I got time. Now I'm hoping to get blessed and find a job right out of college that pays well enough for me to afford to live up here and that allows me to work from here. That doesn't require me to go to an office more than a handful of times a year. Now with marketing, which is what my major is, there's a lot of remote jobs that you can find. So I'm hoping to be lucky enough to find something like that. I mean, if we're talking lucky enough, I'm hoping that I'm lucky enough for this to pop off and I don't gotta do any of that. And I can just take you guys on adventures across the whole country. But obviously I can't rely solely on that. But don't y'all worry, I'm still gonna take time out of my weekends and whatnot to go and take these adventures, make these videos for you guys. I seriously love making them, brings me a lot of joy. Gives me an excuse to go do random stuff like this, go camp in Mammoth, which I probably wouldn't have done if it weren't for you guys. So yeah, do not worry, even after I graduate, I'm still gonna be pumping out content for you guys. I'm really trying to get this to take off and I appreciate each and every one of you that's helping me, supporting me, liking these videos, commenting, all that. And I'm really excited for 2024. I wanna do a lot of big shit. Really gonna try to put a lot of effort into this channel while still balancing my other life as well. So again, can't thank y'all enough for those of you that are here right now watching. I'm hoping that in a couple years from now, we can look back on this, smile, and think about how much we've grown over the years. But anyways, guys, let's get back on the road. Let's get down into Bishop. Let's roll. I hope you guys are liking it because I like it. All right, you guys, the 395 is speaking to me right now. These mountains are giving me inspiration, motivation right now. So I want to set a goal that we can strive for together. You know, I'm driving down this beautiful road thinking about these last couple of days that we spent together. And I'm just thinking about how great of a time it was and how much I enjoyed myself and just how peaceful it was and freeing for the mind. You know, we only got one life to live. I don't want to spend mine slaving away at some corporate office job. And hey, I'm not knocking you if that's what you do. 
It's just not for me. Perfectly acceptable way to live. It just isn't for me. And that's not what I want to do. And I know I would never feel satisfaction doing that in life. So we're going to set a goal together. Something that we can work for for 2024. I want by the end of the year 2024 I want to have a thousand subscribers on this channel and I know that's kind of a lot given that we only got about 40 right now and I appreciate each and every one of you 40 but I want to go big I want to strive for something big so might as well challenge myself and set the bar high guys I just really enjoyed myself the last couple of days and this is something that I would absolutely love to do full-time for you guys I think it's super fun to go explore new places and bring you guys along with me and show you guys some cool things as well it brings me to new spots I've never been before and I love being able to share it along with you guys as well. So now, if we can reach our 1,000 subscriber goal by the end of 2024, it'll put me in a position where I can move away from the corporate world and do this full time with you guys. Which I know is a lot to ask, but it would really be such a blessing. And I'm just kind of throwing it out into the world right now. Let's manifest this motherfucker. I feel like we're so pre-programmed to accept the Monday through Friday, grind, work hard, hate your life. And then on the weekends, you know, Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, you play hard and you get to reap the benefits of your hard work through the week. And like I said, I'm not knocking it, that's perfectly fine. But if you're miserable five out of seven days of the week, then what even is the point of those two good days of having fun? I'd much rather live a life where every day feels fulfilling, you know, where I can wake up every day and be excited for what the day has to offer. Even if it's a Monday, a Tuesday, a Thursday. But I'm about to get my bachelor's degree in business with a focus on marketing. And I just feel so much pressure to put that to work. I mean, yeah, I could give it a shot for a couple years, but I just know I'm gonna hate it. And I don't wanna be wasting the young years of my life when I could be out doing shit like this. And like Theo Vaughn says, nothing changes if nothing changes. So I'm just trying to make changes in my life to get on a path where I can live that fulfilling lifestyle. And this is one of these steps, making this channel. Another thing I'm trying out is stand-up comedy. I've always wanted to do that for the past couple years, but I've always been way too scared and nervous to do so. But eventually I said, you know what, fuck it, we got one life to live, might as well give it a shot. So I'm taking a crack at that sometime next month. I'm real excited for that. But yeah, I just hope and pray that by the time I graduate, I have some sort of straight path that I can focus on. And just to find something that I'm doing every day that doesn't make me miserable. And that's why we got our end of year 2024 goal of a thousand subscribers. And eventually pushing our way to being able to do YouTube full time. And I know I'm rambling about life right now, but hey, I'm on the long drive, like I said, the mountains make you think. They make you think about a lot of shit. And I don't know, it's kind of nice to just talk to you guys about this kind of stuff. Because I don't talk to anybody else about it. So it's nice to just get it out into the world, put it out there, you know. And I know there's probably some of you listening right now that are thinking, damn, that's exactly how I feel. And you might feel some sort of misery with your day-to-day -day life. And if that is you, just remember it's never too late. No matter how old you are, no matter how deep in a career you are, if you're not content, you're not satisfied or fulfilled with your life, get out of it. What are you doing? You only got one life. Might as well make the most of it and make yourself happy while you're here. And again, like the Ovon says, nothing changes if nothing changes. So get out there, make a change. Doesn't have to be big. It start at a very rudimentary level. Doesn't have to be big drastic changes. It can be very subtle ones. Or it can be big drastic changes. Just a matter of how comfortable you are. But you should never feel like you're stuck somewhere in life that you don't want to be. Because there's always a way out. You just gotta work for it. So like I said, thousand subscribers, end of 2024. Eventually we'll sit down and set checkpoints throughout the year so we make sure we're on progress. But anyway, sorry to go off on a life rant. Just wanted to get that out there and set that goal with y'all. Back to the mountains. racetrack right here nah. oh look the dispensary it's cute and I'm not even gonna front like I know how to do this 
I'm not a car guy whatsoever, so another learning experience. All right, y'all, this shouldn't be too hard. Video looks pretty straightforward. Get this hood popped. All right. So it's this light that's out. I think I got it in. I hope it doesn't matter which way this goes. Alright, let's check. Let's go, baby. I've never done that before. We got fire, baby. I feel like I should do this one too, but... Actually, yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. All right, now next stop is the bakery to get Grady Baby some bread. Best sourdough in the world, apparently. We'll be the judge of that. Okay. Oh, here we go. Sourdough rosemary. Oh, that feels so fresh. I'm gonna do one of these for myself. Alright guys, I'm going to FaceTime Grady Baby because there's a lot of different choices. It's like bread heaven. I love this. Woo. So many different kinds. I'm gonna try one of these. And I got the sourdough rosemary. That store was awesome. Check it out if you're ever driving through Bishop. Eric Schatz Bakery. Eric, E-R-I-C-K, Schatz. Super dope, I love bread too, so. I got Grady the San Francisco extra sourdough. I got myself the sourdough rosemary bread. I love rosemary bread. I used to eat it a ton when I was a kid. Staple of my childhood, so I had to get that. And I got my parents another sourdough rosemary bread. Parents and sisters. So I am very excited to try that. And guys, the rain is following me. I don't know what the fuck it is, but wherever I go, the rain goes. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stop at the spots that I wanted to take you guys to along the way home. If it's raining, I'm not stopping because there's no point, because everything's outside. But if I can, I'll stop and I'll show you guys some cool spots. But we'll see. God damn. Something about being surrounded by the mountains is so peaceful. I don't know, it gives me like this indescribable feeling. I literally can't even describe it. And that, I mean, that's what indescribable means, but oh, I just love the mountains so much. Like this every day, I can't even imagine. This would be amazing. Simpler life out here seems like, that's for sure. Just filling up some gas right now. Now that I'm older, every time I come out here to Mammoth, it's like, God, I just want to stay. Like when I'm driving down through and you could see that beautiful view, mountains on both sides of you, the sunlight coming through, 
That fog kind of creeping in. Unreal, it really is. Like I said, by the time I'm 30, I gotta be up here. All right, gas is all filled up. Let's get back on the road. sister when we were little kids as you do and I remember walking around you look at like the tents that they stayed in when I say tents I mean like just big canvas room with a bunch of bunk beds it's real eerie and it's a sad reminder of a tragic time in American history honestly and there's actually a pretty popular song I think the artist's name is Kenji I'll throw a screenshot up of the song but it's about this internment camp Manzanar that's on the way to Mammoth right off the 395 and it's really interesting real sad but yeah I recommend going and giving it a listen it kind of gives you a good depiction of what happened to Japanese Americans back in that day sad shit pulled over to take a piss got a friend we made it home safely guys sadly it ended up raining the entire way home it was actually pretty sketchy driving in the highway in the rain at night. I mean, I'm a Cali guy, so I'm not used to the rain. But thankfully, we made it home safely. Fortunately, we didn't get a stop at any of those spots I was telling you guys about. But that's for next time. It's actually about a week later now. I'm just finishing editing up the last part for this Manda series. And I'm so excited to see that you guys have been liking the series so far. We've added almost 20 new subscribers since the first videos dropped. So welcome to you guys. Super happy to have you guys. I sincerely appreciate all the likes and comments on the videos. You guys don't know how much it means to me and how much it drives me, motivates me to keep pushing out these videos. I already got the whole next series planned, which I'm super excited to announce to you guys in the next coming videos, which will be coming in about a week. I still haven't gone on the trip yet, but I'm hoping to have that next series up in about a week. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, guys, this is going to do it for the Mammy series. This was so much fun. I can't express to you how much I enjoyed making these videos. It was great to get out to Mammoth and to get some skiing in. And it was even better to bring you guys along with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this last installment of the Mammoth trip. Please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you did. And remember guys, let's keep striving, pushing toward that thousand subscriber goal for the end of 2024. 2023 ends today. It's actually New Year's Eve today. So happy New Year to you guys. This is coming out tomorrow. Wishing you all the best 2024. And I know we're going to have a lot of great adventures together throughout the year. So I'm super excited for that, y'all. And with that, let's roll into the new year. See you all on the next one. Peace. Peace.